Now we're gonna do dumbbell lateral raises. Right here, this is one of my favorite shoulder exercise. Cause this exercise is more for shaping and not necessarily more for building or increasing size. Because every time you pick up a dumbbell and you move your arms away from the center of your body, the weight gets heavier as you go up. By the time you get to the top of the movement, the weight is even heavier. So with this exercise, the one basic thing you need to remember is control, is moving slowly up to the top and make sure your wrist is facing the ground all the time. You don't want to find yourself right here or right there. You always want to keep your wrist facing down. The reason why your wrist needs to face down is to keep the load on the muscle because the load is coming from the bottom to the top. Once you turn your wrist up, you're changing the load. And what's going to happen here, you're going to use your forearms, you're going to use your bicep more than you're using your shoulders. So the most common mistake that I see is, first of all, too much weight. Too much weight just kills everything. It makes you, it turns into a weightlifter and not a bodybuilder. Guys pick up the weight first. And what they do is, because the weight is too heavy, they're swinging back and for just going way too far from the loading of the muscle. This only would allow you to just move the weight and not load the muscles at all. The most important here is stability. Make sure you keep your body grounded. Slightly bend your knees so you can feel the ground beneath you. If you lock your knees, you're not gonna feel grounded. Bend your knees a little bit, keep your core tight, and make sure when you start, you wanna start about five to six inches away from your body. So when you come up, slightly bend your elbows. Do not lock your elbows. Once you let the, lock your elbows, the stress goes into the elbows and that will stress your elbows even more. So what you wanna do is slightly hinge the elbows into an arc and when you come up, you wanna feel like you're dragging the dumbbell up slowly. My, my wrist a little bit in front of my shoulders, like there, not right here or not right there. You wanna be slightly in front of my shoulder and I wanna come down really slow and maintain the bottom of the movement right about there. What that's gonna do is continue loading the muscle. If I come all the way down, the load is gone. I'm not feeling the muscle anymore. So what you always wanna think about is, in, inside the set, you always wanna keep the load on the muscle because you don't wanna rest between reps. You only wanna rest between sets. So maintain your hanging of your wrist outside. Slowly drag the weight off from the shoulders, not from the wrist, and maintain your arc. Come down really slow, keep your chest up, Make sure you maintain the isolation stability. Come up really slow, up top, stop a little bit, and come down really slow. If you can see, my body is not moving at all. I'm only using 10 pounds. Right now, that 10 pounds is feeling a little bit more heavier because I'm just dragging the weight from point A to point B and not deloading. So that is the most important thing about the lateral raises. Keeping your body stable is very important. The common mistake that I see is the body jerking back and forth. Once your body jerks back and forth, the load is gone, there's no more isolation. And the more you isolate in this position, the more you will feel the roundness of your shoulders on the side. Because without that roundness, your shoulder probably is not gonna be complete. If you have your front delt, your rear delt, this right here is what completes the shoulder exercise. So make sure you keep that mind and body connection. Feel like you're dragging the weight away from your body and don't feel like you're jerking the weight. No hip hinge at all. It's only a shoulder hinge with an arc. So all you have to do is come up really slow at the top, stop, keeping that wrist facing the ground and come down really slow. And that's how you do a dumbbell lateral races.